The Tea Haven Hospice is a well-renowned haven which offers comfort and support for families of children with life-limiting conditions. But there are concerns tonight that plans to build a holiday park next to the facility in Sully could have a detrimental impact on the tranquillity which sits at the heart of its care, as Kate Lewis reports. Nestled on the South Wales coast, a sanctuary for children with life-limiting conditions. But could this soon be the site of Wales' newest holiday park? It's the dream of Barry Island's pleasure park owner, but the nightmare of families who use Tea Havan Children's Hospice. When I heard the plans, I was shocked, angry and worried. Um, I think it's totally the wrong place to put a park, a caravan park next to a children's hospice. Um, the reason that it's situated where it is is because of the tranquil settings. Lauren's daughter Bliss has rain braid disorders. The family has been coming to Tea Haven for the last 13 years. We go out in the lovely gardens that we've got and Bliss, you know, it can be for playing, laughing, creating memories, but it's also been for times where Bliss has been struggling and I've gone out just to be me really with my own thoughts, have a cry and deal with the situation that we're dealing with as a family, which is devastating. This is the hospice's memory garden, and this is the boundary wall separating Tea Haven from the land on which owner Henry Danter says he wants to build a holiday park. Tea Haven has formally objected to the application, saying it would disrupt the tranquility of this hospice, but Mr. Danter does not accept that to be the case. This year is on its own in the wilderness, in a mess, and I saw to Wales. We can make this special. Is there a holiday park you want to see on well, this piece of land? What I want to land? see on here is mobile homes or, or um, log cabins or containers. Because as it stands at the moment, it's an eyesore for Wales. This is no credit to anybody, the hospice, the college or anybody else. Or the Do people you living in Wales. understand the hospice's concerns? I very much so. I've lost a child myself. I know what they feel. I know that agony, that pain will last them for a long time, probably a lifetime. That is very, very sad, and I wouldn't do anything to hurt the special need children. But it's not the size, it's the proximity which is upsetting many. Natalie Riddler's three-year-old son Morgan passed away in Tea Haven in June. She's now joining other parents in the fight against the proposals. I'm concerned because a piece of Morgan will always be here, and we'll always be back and forth to visit Tea Haven, the gardens, and so... I'm going to make sure that we stand together as one voice, we're stronger together as parents opposing a holiday park on the land next door to Tea Havan, not opposing a holiday park on the whole. It's just that this isn't the place for it. The council says it has not received a planning application for a holiday park, but Mr Danter's vision is causing huge concern for those already facing difficult times. Kate Lewis, ITV News, Sully.